Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 27th. This is the National Desk, America's News Now. I'm Gina Jeffcoat, and here are a few of the top stories we're following for you this morning. Officials are increasing vaccine requirements as COVID cases rise nationwide. The Department of Veterans Affairs is the first federal agency to demand vaccinations for its frontline workers. The White House says it will not impose national mandates, but supports private employers that create new requirements for their workers. The U.S. will be ending its combat mission in Iraq by the end of the year. President Biden made the announcement after a meeting with the Prime Minister of Iraq, saying some U.S. forces will stay to assist Iraqi forces with that transition. And the bipartisan infrastructure bill hits another roadblock. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate could be staying in session through the weekend to finish the bill. Meantime, moderate Democrat Joe Manchin warns the separate $3.5 trillion Democratic spending bill could fall apart if the infrastructure proposal does not.